this is my uh, Kohler 20 kilowatt generator project. My house on the Washington coast. Um, I got the uh, 120 gallon propane tank delivered a few days ago. Um, we don't have natural gas down here and uh, so we have to run it on propane which is fine and uh, I put in I buried a uh, three-quarter inch the yellow flexible three-quarter inch line going from the tank to the uh, generator here to the regulator and uh, a little flex line there that goes from the regulator in to the regulator inside is uh, supplied by Kohler. It came with the kit, so that was that was kind of handy. But uh, uh, I guess the reason I'm making this is uh, I poured this pad. I'm kind of hurrying to do this before winter. I poured this pad and uh, brought the generator down here in my pickup truck and slid it out of the back of the pickup truck down a couple of boards um, so a couple of guys can place one of these i've had a little toyota pickup truck my little garbage truck and uh, we just slid it out the back and down down a couple of uh, two by sixes right onto the pad but the uh, concrete was too green to pre-drill the holes for mounting. And I wanted to let it set up a few days. And uh, the way that the uh, mounting holes are placed, especially in the back here, you can see that you can't get above them to drill. So you have to take the sides off the generator. This is the one that has the um, synthetic composite case on it. It's not the aluminum case. It's a plastic case because we're down here uh, about a eighth of a mile or a sixteenth, a couple blocks from the beach. So I didn't want the aluminum housing um, for obvious reasons. But uh, it's really simple to take the uh, sides off this thing. The, the back piece here, which... Um, comes off real easy you just got four I've got metric wrenches so they're 10 millimeter one there one down there one right there and one right there and that's it just those four and then you pull the top down about halfway it gives you the space you just lift that back pull it out and lift that back panel out and it just pops right out and then that gives you access to drill straight down with your uh, masonry bit into the concrete and uh, then I, I just use those uh, those little wedge bolts that you know the the tighter you crank down on the nut the, the tighter they wedge into the concrete is what I used and uh, uh, let's see the other thing um, the manual calls for a group 51 battery and when I went to Costco all they had was a group 51 R where the leads are reversed and uh, obviously it worked it, it should be the positive on that side and the negative over here but there's as you can see there's plenty of slack in these leads here to uh to reverse it so i thought i would mention that if you know you're into one of these projects and you're wondering if the uh group 51 r which means reversed will work it will and uh let's see course to pull the fret off it's the same thing you've got just four of these little 10 millimeter nuts that are on studs 
that come off. They're easily accessible. And that top panel, well, there's a, it connects like this. The side panel connects, so there's, there's a, there's a um, bolt, actually, the 10 millimeter bolt that goes in that's into a metal, metal tap. And the same thing over here. So that would be one to six, six bolts that you take off and that front panel pops off. And that would be, you need to know that for oil changes because this is, this is how you change the oil. You just crank that lever open. And right now that tube is routed over here. I haven't changed the oil yet. I, I don't have this hooked up to electricity. I've run it. I've done a test run, run it up to temperature with no load. Um, once I have it mounted here, and uh, uh, I'm going to come back down and put the transfer switch here on the uh, pole, and I'll have a video showing that, how I did the transfer switch. The unit came with the automatic transfer switch. I'm not going to have any load shedding. Um, it's a uh, manufactured home here, and uh, I've got a wood stove in there, so if the power goes out, I'll be using the wood stove for heat. So um, I, don't, I don't think my current demands are going to be that great, so no load shedding on this one just for the heck of it so you can see i'll show you this this lead here i got at my local uh propane supply where i where i got the tank i i got everything here that i needed and uh there's a part number there for you on that lead, this this goes down, and there's a connection, like I say, to the uh, the uh, three quarter inch um, flex. It's I guess it's a poly gas pipe, yellow. And they haven't come out to fill the tank yet. There's only about oh, probably 20 gallons in here. This is a 120 gallon tank, and. Uh, it had the valve on it. I had to do the uh, copper line there into the uh, initial regulator. So, let's see here. If there's any information. to 10 PSI. Anyway, that's the uh, project so far, and the next video will be the electrical connection. Uh, this little swivel here, you have to make sure that you don't put too much of the uh, Teflon tape on or else you can't tighten it up tight enough and it'll it'll leak around the middle here so don't don't overdo the teflon tape and uh you want to make sure when you're tightening down this connection here that you're holding it in here with a wrench because this this uh regulator in here is uh is just mounted to the to the plastic down here and it could flex around and then of course this this unit here you have to turn this switch it's got an uh, lp or ng on here for liquid propane or natural gas and you just rotate it to the uh to the proper fuel that you're using and that's it Okay, probably be another week before I can get down here to do the electrical, so uh, until then.
got the fuel hooked up and the battery in it and got it programmed and it's a lot quieter than I thought it would be too anyway I don't want to run it too much right now and piss off the neighbors but actually you know I'm only 10 feet away from it 12 feet away and I can still talk so it's not that bad <laughs> 